Now the bonus part, guys. Now I have a little bit of bonus for you. For those of you that stuck around to this point right now, a little bit of bonus. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. If you don't, no problemo. I got you covered anyways. What's going on, guys? And welcome back to the vlog. So today I'm going to talk about a company that I talked about a very long time ago. It's been quite a while. And that company is Alicos, ticker symbol A-L-L-K. Now this company, if you guys remember, first of all, look at today's chart. It's looking gorgeous, okay? It's up quite a bit. Look at this thing. It is up $1.15 as of the recording of the video. And we're going to talk about why it's up today. But let me just bring you back to why it dropped in the first place. And if you guys don't recall, this thing dropped over 93% last year in about a day. I mean, this thing went down $80 or so, like 70 something, like $75 to $80 in one single day. It was huge, okay? It was amazing. So it tanked in December, um, 87.5, but it actually went down even further after this article came out. And basically, to give it to you in a nutshell, even though this thing goes over the whole thing, this is basically the key component here of why it went down. The clinical stage biotech company's share price plummeted after the publication of disappointing trial data for its key treatment. Now look at this chart right here. Now when you see something like that, there's only one expression you can come up with and that is, damn, that's bad. So the article continues on and it basically breaks down exactly the trials that came to a halt because just horrible data came out and basically the stock just collapsed okay so i'm not, you know i'm not gonna give you the whole story if you haven't seen the whole story i did an earlier video on it uh like a year ago so very recent if you will so it's down 90 it was down 93 percent, i should say it's still down basically to those levels maybe even less than that because as you can see here bam son look at that it is still it's horrible okay let me tell you, let me, let me show you right here. Five year chart. Ah, uh, look, I mean, this thing was up to like 151 freaking dollars and then just fell off a cliff. It hit some nasty lows. Now, when I say nasty, I mean nasty, like $2.60 nasty. That's nasty, okay? I know some nasty girls, but damn, this one takes the crown, okay? However, since then, it's climbed up quite a bit. So if we go back to the five day chart, you can see that it was still kind of, you know, making its way up a little bit, right? Obviously from $2 and change, you hit all the way to like $8 and 50 cents. So, you know, we've, we've made slow climbs, small climbs, I should say, nice slow climbs, um, just small little jumps here and there, all the way from $2 and change to almost five bucks to obviously surpassing that and hitting a nice high of $8 and 47 cents just to come back down again to like the low five dollar range here you can see it hit five dollars and 22 cents that's where it was as of yesterday but today it's up a dollar and 15 cents or 21 percent whatever you want to call it whatever floats your boat and here's the reason why not incredibly amazing news but still good news nonetheless so i'm going to touch over a couple of items so you can be up to date if you want to stay on the video for that, that's great. If you want to tune out, no problemo. Let's go. Um, and I'm going to sum it up right here, basically. So recent Alacos events initiated a phase two randomized double blind placebo control study. Continued enrollment of phase two randomized double blind placebo control study, which sounds like the same thing, but it's not. And then completed IND enabling toxicity studies for AK006, the second half of 2022. And then they also came out and give us an update of what's going on with the other things in their pipelines, um, other items or whatever, studies. And they did initiate the first human study in AK006 in the first half of 2023. They also reported top line data from phase two study of a subcontinuous lorentilimab. I don't even think that's English at this point, uh, but whatever that says. Um, anyway, so good data there. And then they also reported on uh, top line data for phase two study of, I don't know how to say that word. I'm not even going to try it because I'll embarrass myself, okay, on the internet. So that's partly why it went up. I mean, I'm giving you a 30,000 foot flyover, if you will. Good data. They're reporting on good data. Now, the second thing. So, first thing, they're reporting good data on their trials or so far positive data on some of their trials. They're starting some other trials and stuff. So, good data in that end. 
The second thing which I think we should focus on is they're cutting back on some of their spending, okay? So it says right here that research and development expenses were $35.4 million in the fourth quarter of 2022 compared to $72 million in the fourth quarter of 2021. Now that could be to a couple of things. Obviously, they could be cutting back on some research and whatnot, but also it shows that they're trying to, you know, cut some expenses, which is good. These efforts reduce manufacturing costs by $26 million and compensation expenses by $4.7 million in the fourth quarter of 2022 compared to the same period in 2021. Additionally, clinically related costs decreased by $7 million primarily due to the completion of the Enigma 2 and crypto studies in the fourth quarter of 2021 and EODICE. I you know, some of these names, come on, guys, what are you doing to me here? What are you doing with these names? You know what, Louis, just keep going. Uh, but overall, they are looking into their numbers and they're like cutting back. OK, so. Thing two, I'm going to make this quick because I don't want to bore you guys. So thing one, let me just recap real quick. Thing one, good data. They're finally revealing a little bit of good data. Thing two, cutting back on expenses. Now, the third thing, the third piece of positive news for this company is that Piper Sandler analyst Yasmin Rahimi pretty much gave this company an overweight rating and a street high price target of $22 per share. Now, so far, the average price target for this company has been around like five bucks and change. However, with their overweight price target, and again, that's just their opinion, not necessarily what's going to happen. It could represent a 236% return from the current levels that it's at today. Reminder, that's just an opinion or what they believe this company should be worth. So take that with a grain of salt, if you will. Now, the bonus part, guys, and I told you there was three things, right? Let me just go over real quick. Positive news, cutting costs, and then now, obviously, we have this, okay? A target price per share of $22. For those of you that stuck around to this point right now, a little bit of bonus. Now, here's the bonus part of the video, and this is the insiders, okay? The people that are buying and selling shares. Now, it's kind of complicated to tell exactly, you know, who sold what and whatnot, but Basically, they bought over the last 12 months, 5 million shares versus they only sold 126,000. So if there were more sales than buys, let's do the math, guys. Come on. This is simple math. Then, you know, people would just be losing faith in the company. Insiders, at least. Now, here's a particular trade that was amazing. And I don't know how this guy right here, the director, that guy got 3.9 million shares. Could have been a bonus if it was. Damn, bro, share some of that bonus with the rest of us. This other person here, Janie Daniel, or Daniel Janie, I don't know, is it last name first? First name? I don't, anyways, uh, 475,000 shares. So, guys, the insiders are buying. They're stacking up because maybe there's something in the works. I don't know. Take that with a grain of salt as well. So, guys, there you go. Just an update. This stock completely collapsed but a year and change ago it slowly made its way back up came down again and now it's slowly you know starting to come out or come back up i should say and hopefully there's positive news in the future so that is it for today that is my coverage of alicos ticker symbol a l l k peace out see you on the next one if you want to subscribe subscribe if you don't no problemo I got you covered anyways. Peace.